Labour urged an inquiry into Lee Anderson was offered money to join Reform UK. We're going to read into this more from The Guardian, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an article from The Guardian with the headline that Labour have urged an inquiry into claims that Lee Anderson was offered money to join Reform UK. The call for Standards Commissioner to look into the circumstances of the former Tory MP's defection to Reform Party. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share it across social media so others are notified of this video. The first thing I want to say is, is that why would anyone offer this man money? That's the first, that's the first daftest thing. I, I have to laugh. I have to laugh that someone would actually offer this man money. This guy. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, quite, it's quite embarrassing that anyone would actually offer money for this man. This, this man is a drifter. He's, he's, he's kept, he's jumped so many political parties. He jumped from Labour. He jumped, to, to, he jumped from Labour to Tories. He jumped from Tories to Reform. We're, we're waiting for his jump to the Lib Dems or Greens or, or maybe even the, or maybe he'll move up to Scotland so he can join the SNP. He, he, he's a drifter. He's not loyal. He doesn't, he, he's not somebody you can take seriously. He, he just goes where the wind blows. And at the moment, some of the wind is going with Reform UK and that's why he's going there. At least that's what the initial thought is. But it looked like he was offered a bunch of money to, to jump ship as well, allegedly. And that's a very serious case. That's, it's essentially he was bribed to ditch the Conservative Party and join with Reform UK. And I don't know about you, but I don't think you can do that. Hmm. But I just find it hilarious that anyone would offer this man money. In the same wrench of why people would offer... Uh, speeches to Boris Johnson because for some reason they want to offer speeches to Boris Johnson which is just as weird as well so let's read into this daft story guys so Labour oh I say daft I mean as in him not the uh, the story itself Labour has written to Parliament Standard Watchdog asking for an investigation to claims that and Lee Anderson was offered a six-figure financial incentive to join the Reform Party the year before he defected Ellis Reeves, the chair of Labour, called on the Parliamentary Standards Commissioner, Daniel Greenberg, to look into the circumstances of Anderson's decision to join reform. She highlighted a recording which was leaked in November last year in which Anderson, then a Conservative, told activists, now there's a political party that begins with an R that offered me a lot of money to join them. I say a lot of money, I mean a lot of money. Well, there's your reason for an investigation. Reform Zen leader Richard Tice, who is now an MP, describes Anderson's claims at the time total lies. But Anderson subsequently explained, At one such meeting, I was offered the chance to join another party for the following deal. I joined within a few months and stand, and stand for this party at the next election. If I had lost my seat, I would have been guaranteed a job with the party for five years on the same salary as an MP. The falsely claimed that he used this as leverage to get the position of deputy chairman as an insult to me and my party. As a conservative, Anderson reported the alleged offer for, of a financial in, inducement to the Tory party whips, who told the common speaker that the speaker suggested the conservatives could report the, office, uh, the offer to the police. But Tory sources said this never happened. <laughs> You're not going to tell me there's not something here, possibly. Anderson defected to the Reform Party in March 2024 and is now an MP for the party. At the time he joined Reform, he told GB News, which employs him as a presenter, that he had not taken any money to become the MP for the party. No, absolutely not, he said. Not one, uh, 100%. Don't be so ridiculous. I'm not a, mer I'm not a mercenary. I have, I've had no money. However, Reeves said she would like the commissioner to check whether the MP's code of conduct has been followed. Economic enticements have no place at all in UK politics. It undermines the democratic norms, undermines national security, and ultimately undermines the principles of having faith that elected politicians act in the interests of their constituents. I look forward to your response, she wrote in her letter. 
Anderson was no longer a Tory MP at the time he joined Reform. He had resigned as a deputy chair of the party over Rishi Sunak's Rwanda bill, saying it did not go far enough to stop the small boats crossing. Anderson subsequently had the whip suspended after refusing to apologise for remarks about Sadiq Khan on GB News that the London Mayor described as Islamophobia, anti-Muslim and racist. Khan had told uh, GB News, uh, Anderson had told GB News Khan had given our capital away to his mates. Um, I'm still, I still struggle to see that as somebody who has travelled through London. Like, it's nonsense, absolute nonsense. I don't know where he got this idea from. But the problem is, is that because people, if unless you go to London, unless you've been to London, unless you've lived in London, experienced London, you're going to automatically assume that this is real. And I can tell you, this is 100% BS. I don't actually believe that the Islamics have got control of our country. But what I do believe is they've got control of Khan, they've got control of London. Yeah, remember that comment. He won the city of Ashfield again in July where he's standing for reform and is now the party's chief whip in the Commons of for its five MPs. Reform and Sinentis have been contacted for comment. So it's entirely possible he may have responded by the time this report comes out, guys. Or um, he may, they may not have said not saying anything at all, which would also be very, very likely as well. Um, to blatantly come out and say that he was offered money and now he said he wasn't offered money, does raise eyebrows and it should be something looked into now it could it could be it could be a case that he was just saying that it might be the case that there's nothing there but again once again highlights like the stupidity i do have to call the stupidity of the people of ashfield who actually think lee anderson is actually standing for their rights you know this is a guy that consistently jumps party this is a guy that does not care about other people he is a grifter just like farage a grifter looking to take any and every opportunity that come for him the man does not have principles. He doesn't sit on any principles. He's a drifter. That's what he is. That's what he's always been. You know, and if if an opportunity, if he if he could, he would go back into Labour if he could. He generally would because that's how big of a grifter he is. And he would com he would switch sides in a, in a blink of an eye if it meant more money in his pocket as well. I certainly would not be surprised if there was if there was uh, actually money of some sort traded in some way, shape or form. I don't think there was. This could be nothing, but I would not be surprised if they do find something here from this as well. But I do think there should be something that should be looked into, especially when he made the comments so blatantly as well at the time. But what do you guys think? Do you think there's something here from Lee Anderson? Do you think it was just wordplay? Do you think Lee Anderson was offered money? Or do you think this is all just talk? And perhaps maybe it was just a conscious decision rather than a alleged bribery decision. Let me know your thoughts and more down in the comments section below. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share this across social media so others are notified of this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing because it really does help support the channel. If you want to go one step further and find to support me and the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content on those platforms. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.